My mother completely smear campaigned me to my daughter and she used a visual prop. <laughs> yes, she did. So when I was 13, for those of you who are new here, I ended up running away from home. My mother is a sociopath and a narcissist. I ended up living on the streets and by 17, where's the little picture? I had this cute little baby right there. And by, six, by the time she was six years old, I went no contact with my mother because my mother was playing all sorts of head games and creating division and doing the things that somebody who is narcissistic does. Fast forward to now my daughter is 18 years old and she's going to university in Miami where my mother lives and she has very fond memories, particularly of my grandmother. So because she wanted to connect with my grandmother, it was easier for her to find my mother for whatever reason and she began a relationship with my mother. And yes, I was not happy about it. At the same time, I trusted my daughter, I knew who I raised and I wasn't overly concerned. I created a boundary and I just asked her, you know, please don't share my life with my mother. I don't need to know anything about her life. You know, if there's something you want to talk about, absolutely bring it to me. But otherwise, that's your relationship over there to handle in any way that you choose. I trust you. I love you. All that good stuff. So when I was 18 years old, my mother manipulated and bullied me into a marriage not to my daughter's father, to somebody that I was dating, somebody that I wasn't even considering marrying. We had only been together for a few short months. She said, oh, but you're sleeping there, so you have to marry him because what will people think? And you know, you look like a tramp, which is my trigger word with my mother because she started calling me a tramp when I was like nine years old, when she knew I was being molested. So there was a lot of stuff going on. And my mother had complete emotional control over me. So I got married and she threw me a wedding. What she really did was she took me wedding dress shopping. She slapped a dress on me that she knew I was miserable in. She got the bank manager that I grew up with. Her name was Millie. She was awesome to marry us at her house with a few people there. Uh, there might've been some food. I don't even remember, like it was a blur. And then of course she ruined the honeymoon, which was going to be a night in a hotel where she agreed to take care of my little baby that night, her and my stepfather. My stepfather loved my daughter. So he loved to have her around. Of course, as soon as I got to the hotel, ring, 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 ring. I don't wanna take care of her. There wasn't a reason, no excuse, no nothing, come pick her up. And so it was a honeymoon for three. Anyway, she took a picture of me in my wedding dress. And whenever my mother wanted to make it seem like I had this horrific past to somebody that she knew I didn't talk about because I never talked about that marriage, she would put that picture up in the house. Interesting how there's no other pictures of me up in the house. Actually, there's no other family pictures in the house. I don't even have photographs of myself as an infant. I've never seen any. I don't think they exist. But that picture she put up in the house and it would then evaporate. So with my ex-husband, that picture went up um, while we were dating and she's like, did you know like Marnie was married before? You know, like she ran away, she's been around, like she had a baby at 17. I mean, he's there. He knows I had a baby at 17 because the baby's there. In fact, by the time we met, I was 20 years old, I had two babies. But she would go for broke on that because what she would try to do is scare somebody away who she knew would have um, supported me in some way. With my daughter, because she wanted to make sure that she damaged our relationship, she had that picture up. Did you, did you know your mother was married? Like this was her first marriage. Did you know about that? Did she tell you? You know, cause she is a liar and she hides things and she's sneaky. And you know, I threw her this lavish wedding and, and she was so ungrateful and she really went to town. And I know this because my daughter not that long ago told me about it. And I, I, I kind of forgot to make a video about it and your comment reminded me. What kind of loving parent would ever in a million zillion bajillion years disparage their child to somebody else? The answer is no kind of loving parent would do that. Loving parents want their 
children should be known as the best thing since sliced bread. We're proud of them. And to us, well, to me, my kids are the best thing since sliced bread, right? So I, I look at these moments, I remember these experiences, and I just think, how sad is it? that society is going to blame me from walking away from a mother who would do that to her child. And then furthermore, from a mother who would try to do that to their grandchild, try to create division in relationships and plant seeds of doubt and actually really methodically eviscerate their own child to their grandchild to win favor with that child so that they don't speak to their parent. Like what the actual, we need to support people's adults' decisions. Even if we don't know where the background lies, stop judging and start supporting. And I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but I'm just really frustrated with all of these I have grandparents' rights videos. And I, nobody has a right to a relationship with anybody else. Relationships are earned. Relationships are a privilege. And if you're not treating your adult children who have your grandchildren with the kind of love and respect that you want your grandchild to experience in life, then you shouldn't be 